The Perfection of Wisdom in 8,000 Lines Chapter 1 The Practice of the Knowledge of All Modes Section 1 Introduction Thus have I heard at one time. The Lord dwelt at Rajagriha on the vulture peak, together with a great gathering of monks, with twelve hundred and fifty monks, all of them arhats. Their outflows dried up, undefiled, fully controlled, quite freed in their hearts, well freed and wise, thoroughbreds, great serpents, their work done, their task accomplished, their burden laid down their own wheel accomplished, with the fetters that bound them to becoming extinguished, their hearts well freed by right understanding, in perfect control of their whole minds, with the exception of one single person, that is, the Venerable Ananda. The Lord said to the Venerable Sabuti, the Elder, Make it clear now, Sabuti, to the Bodhisattvas, the great beings, starting from perfect wisdom, how the Bodhisattvas, the great beings, go forth into perfect wisdom. Thereupon the venerable Sariputra thought to himself, Will that venerable Sabuti, the elder, expound perfect wisdom of himself, through the operation and force of his own power of revealing wisdom, or through the Buddha's might? The Venerable Subhuti, who knew through the Buddha's might that the Venerable Sariputra was in such wise discoursing in his heart, said to the Venerable Sariputra, Whatever, Venerable Sariputra, the Lord's disciples teach, all that is to be known as the Tathagata's work. For in the Dharma demonstrated by the Tathagata they train themselves, they realize its true nature, they hold it in mind. Thereafter, Nothing that they teach contradicts the true nature of Dharma. It is just an outpouring of the Tathagata's demonstration of Dharma. Whatever those sons of a good family may expound as the nature of Dharma, that they do not bring into contradiction with the actual nature of Dharma. <laughs>